Good morning everyone, it's The Wanderer, and this morning me and Harry have arrived in Newbury. Now believe it or not, even though Newbury is a neighbour, it is a first time for me and Harry, and to tell you the truth, we don't actually know where we're going to be eating yet. So we're going to have a little walk around Newbury, see what we can see. Uh, we might even try something a little bit different, and the beautiful thing of course is, when I have a camera person with me, we end up having two different meals, so you guys get to see two different things, and we can give you perspectives on two different meals. If you do like this kind of stuff guys, don't forget of course to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm the Wanderer, it's our first time here, so with that being said, let's make a move. discovered since being in Newbury is that nothing here really opens until 12 o'clock. We stood outside Kung Fu. Now, that is not going to be today's video. I do like the thought of doing a buffet at some time in future. However, if Oriental buffet food is not for you, you can always go over the other side here for a pizza vending machine. But let's not do that. No word of a lie, guys. It's literally about quarter to 12. I've never been anywhere that's so deserted. I think when I made the comment about nothing in Newbury being open until 12, that was a bit of a joke, but I'm actually starting to believe it. There's everybody nothing- in Newbury's, Everybody in Newbury's part time, it looks like. It's nothing here. <laughs> but we will find a place, we will. Here, but Newbury's actually woken up and not only that we actually know where we're gonna eat. We're in Newbury and we're gonna go to a place that is ironically called the Newbury and uh, it's actually completely the opposite way of where we've been walking so you don't have to go for all that. Next time you see us we're gonna be outside the Newbury. Come on Harry let's go. So we've arrived at the Newbury Inn right here in the middle of the city centre. It does look like one of those buildings that you usually see slap bang in the middle of nowhere. It does look like an old fashioned pub, but as you can see around you, it just looks it's slap bang in the middle of the city centre. Um, so for me, I'm having a look at the menu and I've got my eyes 
on the 8 ounce aged ribeye steak, which does come with, uh, it's medium rare, with a Jack Daniels peppercorn sauce. Now that to me sounds very intriguing. Harry's got his eyes on the chunky beer battered fish and chips, uh, which comes to £15. Uh, the ribeye steak, by the way, £22. I'm going to get a drink or two while we're in here as well. It does look really nice on the outside. I can only hope the food quality is as good as the decor. Let's make a move. say guys from the interior I'm absolutely amazed it does look absolutely stunning in here um, I even looked on the sign earlier and I think I know where we're going to be filming our outro they have a rooftop terrace and I want to see if we have access to it if we do that's where the outro is going to be anyway this is Madri guys now I've seen this pop up in a lot of places lately I've never had the opportunity to try it, so this is going to be a first Madri for me. And Toshiko, this one's for you because it is currently 10pm in Tokyo. And I think I see why that one is really popular. That is, that's really solid, nice flavour, no horrible aftertaste, went down really smooth. Harry's about to have a go himself. Yeah, I, I like that. That's, as you say, smooth. Easy to get down, not not like the heavy lagers you get. Yeah, it's put, I can see why it's popular as well. Nice. So just while we're waiting for everything to arrive, we actually haven't taken the food order yet. I'm going to stay seated here until the food order arrives, and then I need the bathroom, which is code word for I want to see more of the place. But uh, we'll show you more very soon. Alright then guys, so that is the food ordered. I am now going to go and take that cheeky bathroom break. You know the one, bathroom break. Let's have a look. Well then everyone, upon further inspection I have to say the place does look absolutely fantastic. I did get a little glimpse of the rooftop terrace, however there is some bad news on that front. Was hoping to film the outro out there but that won't be happening today because it's mainly available on the weekends only. The whole upstairs area actually is mainly available on the weekends so it's a little bit of a mess from the weekend. The staff were saying she had they, they had like the busiest weekend ever and I can understand why, you know, football, excitement, it's all well and good. But what I saw up there did look amazing, and I'm sure when it's set up, it will look absolutely fantastic. It is just a shame that for today, we won't have access to the rooftop terrace. But that's fine, we're just gonna wait for our meals, let you know how they are. But so far, really impressed. Staff, very friendly, very helpful. Interior, amazing. Madri, nice. And um, Harry's all right as well, I suppose. So as you can see, it's arrived. I will give you a full close-up as I always do, but I have to say I'm loving what I'm looking at so far. Very unique 
style of plate, lovely fries, steak looks, oh steak, I just wanna dive right into it, but I have to hold off for a second because I'm gonna give you the close-ups. Came in about 20 minutes, which in my opinion, decent time, but let's see how it tastes. Well, let's show you a close-up first, but I really can't wait. from the moment it arrived I've been looking forward to this so we're just gonna start off I think we'll go simple simple stuff we got the um, rocket tomato salad now we know my opinion on rocket from the Harrods video but it does look like it has some pretty nice looking sauce on there so this, this could be good here we go the sauce does make a really nice improvement that was just the rocket on its own let's go for some of that tomato looks amazing actually nicely cooked better than the average but oh my word mmm that was a punch that tomato I can't describe it it's what flavor was that that sun is sun-dried wow so, yeah. better than the average better than the average tomato right let's go into a fry here got a fry so decent looking fry I'm actually surprised actually I thought they were gonna be really thick chips but I ain't complaining Mm. You know my fry scale. That's that's top of the fry scale. Yeah, they are. They they're really nice. Um, some of the nice and soft. They are pretty similar to the McDonald's fries. I know some people say McDonald's fries. They are my favourite. These are better than them. Really enjoyable. But there's only one place to go now. It's steak time. So I'm going to give you guys two tastes of the steak here um, it's a nice easy cut actually nice easy cut really nice really enjoyable so the first one I'm gonna go without peppercorn and then we'll add some of the Jack Daniels peppercorn sauce sounds interesting but we'll do that second steak on its own oh dear That is a good oh dear. That's amazing. That is amazing. Can I, oh, can I just, can I just, that is, oh my God. That is nice, juicy, soft, perfect. Let us now do some peppercorn sauce drizzling. That's your JD peppercorn there. And here we go. Let's get some of that on there. Get, oh, oh yes. A little gloopy on the top, but the rest of it is coming out very nicely and there we go it is steak peppercorn sauce time let's see what we got <laughs> my friends I've done a few steaks on the channel done a few I have no hesitation in saying that is the best steak and the best peppercorn sauce that I've had on this channel. I'm loving this. Even the rocket is tolerable with the sauce that's on it. This is amazing. Now, let's hand over to Harry, who's well away into his fish and chips, and let's see what we got here. All right then, Harry, so you've had a few bites. What is your opinion? I'm definitely with you on the chips. Amazing. Probably some of the best chips we've had. To be fair, have you actually? I have haven't tried the mushy peas or the fish yet on yeah. purpose. On purpose. Okay. So I'll try. I'll try the mushy peas here. Truffle mushy peas. Yeah. They might be better than zest ones. I did try than, some of yours at zest, didn't I? Better than zest. They might be better than zest. Oh my word! And uh, let's give this fish a go. Nice crunchy batter, by the way. That is a perfect bit of fish. Really? If we were doing this on 
how we did the Zest review with the scores, so you might you might have another one on your hands here. Another twenty. Yeah. Oh my word, that's good. Would you like to give the fish one more go with that tartar sauce? I will do. Yeah. That's uh, that sounds like a good idea to me. Because this tartar sauce looks amazing as well. By the way. That is absolutely perfect. Nice. Nice and salty. It's an amazing flavour in the tartar. Yep. So there you have it guys. At the moment, it's nothing but positivity. Let's finish this, give you the review outside. Well guys, I think we have to just cut straight to the chase. The Newbury Inn and uh, the steak, the peppercorn sauce, even the rocket was nice, the tomato. I have, honestly, I'm gonna say it straight away. Usually I break everything down and I tell you what I think. I'm gonna say it straight away. If I was doing my old scoring system, um, I think we were discussing it in there, we were, yeah. that could have matched Zest. The only thing was the time. Um, if I was, as I say, I'm not doing the scoring system like I used to, but the food itself came in about 17 minutes or so, which would have been a four. I think though, if I was doing it the old way, yeah. that would have been near perfection. Yeah. But I'm not doing it the old way, so I'm gonna tell you. It was perfect. It was easily the best steak I've ever had. The peppercorn sauce, Jack Daniels peppercorn sauce. I need to see where I can buy that because, oh my God, it was perfect. Came to a grand total, uh, that was two madries, an eight ounce ribeye, a fish and chips, 48 pounds. Also, on a positive side, okay, maybe some people will say 48 pound, bit pricey, maybe, but no service charge, which I thought was a really nice change, yeah. really good, thoroughly enjoyable. I'm just gonna leave you in the hands of Harry for a second because you were raving about that fish and chips. I was, yeah. Uh, it, again, if not the best fish and chips I've had, very, very close. Very close. I'm sure, I'm sure it is actually the best, but you know. He, not. he nabbed my mushy peas when we were in Zest, so I dipped one of my fries in his mushy peas, and yeah, no, I have to agree, because the mushy peas make the fish and chips for me. Yeah. Um, no, no, that was that. They didn't were, mind that they were, I didn't mind that they were covering the fish, because you, know, you know normally I'm not a mushy pea sort of person. So. But they were great. And, and truffle, I, I didn't expect to taste like that. I've never tried truffle before. So, yeah. And it was good. And how the tartar sauce came in. Uh, everything about that was great. How it was presented, the plates, the, the shell for your tartar sauce. Yeah, the, the oyster shell. Was <laughs> oyster like, oh, shell. Was <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic, guys. Honestly, if you're ever in Newbury, it is not far from the station at all in fact of course it is right next to the shopping center the Newbury Inn easily one of the best 
eateries that I've been in for a very long time. Um, we're going to have some exciting times ahead as well, me and Harry, because I believe next week we're on our way to London. We're going to go from this place, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to spoil it now. We may be going to the worst rated cafe in London next week. Yeah, he's probably nervous about this one, but we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll, do you, you, know. you want to hear something funny, actually, guys? You'll like this, because I was debating the other day. Um, when I was in London with Toshko, I was thinking... Do I take her to the worst rated cafe or do I go to Harrods? And I thought, Toshko's my fiance. I love her. I'm going to take her to Harrods. Harry, you're going to the worst rated cafe with me, mate. Now that I'm the reserve, yeah. I'll yeah. see. I'll see how it is. <laughs> of course. Anyway, if you do want to see that, of course, guys, and if you did like this kind of thing, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Click the bell. Click the bell. It's down there. It is down there to be notified. Face cam, it's great. Yeah. Click the bell to be notified. And uh, with that being said, guys, Holiday, uh, Newbury Inn, honestly, amazing. And oh, we got some chocolates too. Are you a Mars man or a Bounty man? I'll go for a Bounty. I know it's not the most popular choice, but I don't mind them to be fair. Thank so. God, because I can't stand them. Anyway, guys, I'm the Wanderer, and until next time, thank you for joining me on this one. Bye for now. Right then everybody, good morning, it's The Wanderer and I'm here today in Newbury. Now this is going to be completely new to me because even though Newbury is pretty much a neighbour, uh, I've never actually been here before. Uh, me and Harry, we've... Um, <laughs> Let me try it again. Right then everyone, good morning. Today... The, the... <laughs> I can't speak! I can't do it! Click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. Is it here? Is it here? I don't know. Anyway guys, I'm the Wanderer, let's make a move. We're in... <laughs> I've lost it, I've lost it. I've really it's so lost good you've done it. Isn't it was good, it was so good and I've lost it. Oh, I don't know. Damn it. Right. <laughs> let's go again, let's go again. Sorry mate. This is fun, isn't it? Grove, if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I'm the Wanderer, it's our first time here, so with that being said, let's make a move. I got it! I got it! <laughs> All right, then, everyone, so that was our experience at the Newbury Inn. I'm just going to go straight to Harry. Harry, what did you make of that fish and chips, mate? I'm glad we came to Newbury. That's good. Yeah, to be fair, it was good. Sh